Good morning. I said that really weird then, didn't I? Good morning. It is day 22 of Vlogtober. Oh my goodness, we're nearly at the end of Vlogtober. Uh, I've just pulled up in the work car park because I'm working today, not because I just like being in the work car park. So it's going to be another one of those weird days because I can't really film and it's quite difficult then to squeeze in the editing as well. So we'll see what today's going to end up like. I might go out at lunchtime and see if I can find any more mushrooms. Um, thank you so much to everyone for your congratulations for Dan on his new job and Phoebe for passing her test. They both read all the comments. The kids watch the vlogs and they always read the comments. And Dan always reads, he loves reading the comments. He's normally read them before I've even got out of bed in the morning. So um, they were really, really touched to see that you'd taken the time to leave a comment to say well done to them. That was really, really kind of you. Thank you so much. It, it does mean a lot to us to have that. Um, yeah, thank you. It's been a funny week. I, I feel really anxious today. I don't know if it's just the build up of everything that's been going on all this change I can't quite put my finger on it but um yeah I've got this anxiety going on why is there beeping that was random wasn't it in a car park there's no one here yet I can hear beeping um yeah so where was I before the beeping I was saying thank you what else was I saying? Oh, no, I was saying I was anxious, wasn't I? Yeah, I can't put my finger on it, but it's not nice. Just feel generally a bit anxious and on and on edge at the moment. Uh, yeah, what else to say? I think that's about all I've got to say to start the vlog off. So I'm going to go in, get a cup of tea. I'm really, really hungry as well. Oh, and I've got leftover pizza. Who? Where are we all on cold pizza? My mum thinks it's absolute madness. But I love cold pizza. I think it's one of the best things in the world. So I've got that for my lunch today. And it's Friday, which means it's actually pizza night. And we had pizza for dinner last night. So, I mean, I, I have no issue with having pizza two nights in a row. I feel like I might be winning at life. This happened uh, earlier in Vlogtober, didn't it? Where I had pizza, then leftover pizza, then pizza again. I do feel that that is, you know, the pinnacle of getting life right. <laughs> know what it is it's quarter to six and I'm just running a bath oh in fact I have run a bath I was downstairs much longer than I realized I've run a bath because that's all I've been able to think about all day today look at this I'm in Phoebe's bedroom and she's got a bed that's got a space underneath it I don't know if that was clear, but that was the cat. That's not our cat from next door, who's not allowed upstairs. 
clearly flouting the no upstairs rule. She's getting on a bit and um, I just feel like she never spends the night here and we never feed her. She always goes home. So if she wants to have a little nap under Phoebe's bed for a couple of hours, Phoebe's delighted about the idea of it. It's fine by me. Right, I'm gonna turn the camera off now because I'm gonna get in the bath. Nobody wants to see that. I did mean to say though, I need to issue an apology for yesterday. Um, and it was entirely just, I don't know, habit or slip of the tongue or just me being a silly English person. Um, but when we were talking about the UK educational system, of course, it's not the UK, it's um, England, because they have different educational systems in Scotland. I suspect Northern Ireland as well. I'm not sure about Wales. So I apologise for that. That was just me not thinking properly. So, And yeah, apologies for not explaining it very well as well. <laughs> bath looking a bit pink and a bit frizzy my kitchen is not a peaceful place the fridge makes a racket and the oven makes a racket as well the oven is heating up for the pizzas Dan's just gone to go and pick up Lilia who's um, doing helping with rainbows and brownies that's what she does on a Friday night and Phoebe's just in the living room I'm going to pour a glass of wine and I thought I'd show you what I'm drinking at the moment. I like white wine and I like, I, I don't like a strong wine at all. I tend to hover around the sort of 11, 11 and a half percent mark. But I recently found something that's even lighter than that. You might have seen me drinking this on a previous vlog. It's a Portuguese wine. It's called Vino Verde, which I think means green wine. And um, it's naturally lighter. It says it's made from a blend of local Portuguese grape varieties. Um, and it's just, it's, you can buy it, this is a Tesco's one, but you can get it in Asda's and I've got it in the co-op before as well. Um, and it's 9% and it's very, very slightly sparkling. So it's kind of having, like having a very light, slightly lower alcohol, uh, Prosecco. It's a very summery, light, dry tasting wine and I like dry wine and I really like it and because it's a bit lighter I it's nice I prefer to drink something a bit lighter cheers if you're having a Friday night glass of wine or cup of tea or cup of coffee maybe you're watching this in the morning and it's far too early so enjoy your cup of your mug of whatever you're having um, yeah, so I just thought I'd tell you about that. This one's Tesco's. They're about five, six pound mark, and I found it in Asda's the other day. In fact, Asda's so far I think is the one I like the most. Um, I don't really drink anything else. I can't drink red wine. I used to be able to drink red wine, but first of all, it's a bit too heavy, and second of all, my because um, I have a J pouch, it doesn't like it. And um, I, I do like whiskey. Um, but I'd only ever have a very small dram of that um, and it would ha I'd have to really, really be in the mood. I'd definitely always have a whiskey on Burns night. My mum likes whiskey, uh, but my dad never did, funnily enough. I think it was because I think it might have been the first drink that he ever drank when he was young and uh, it made him sick and he couldn't drink it after that. Anyway. Enough talk of all this, I'm going to go and put my feet up and catch up with Phoebe and have a little sip of this and then when Dan gets home with Lilia we'll put the pizzas in the oven. We always watch a movie and uh, you know, there's normally a bit of a family discussion about it but we normally end up all agreeing uh, and sometimes we watch some absolute horror, horrors, not horror films but you know, terrible films and sometimes we get an absolute gem. So I'll let you know what we end up watching. And I think I shall say goodnight now. It'll be a relatively short one, despite my wittering on at the end. So if someone commented wittering on, they hadn't heard the term wittering. Yeah, it means to just go, you know, go on and on about nothing. Just mutter. No, it's not mutter. Muttering's when you go. 
Stop talking. I'm going to stop talking. I'll see you tomorrow for Saturday. Cheers, everyone. Thank you.